so, but the habits you develop, and, and, and I go back to the other thing, is have the right heroes. I mean, I've, I've always been lucky in that respect. And if, if the, you know, if, if you, the people you look up to are going to form your vision of what the world, you know, how you want to be in later life. And the one, well, I'll give you two pieces of advice. I'd invest as much in myself as you can. I mean, you're, you're your own biggest asset by far. I mean, you've got, you've got all kinds of potential, all the people in this room, you, you know, you're lucky to be in this country, gotten a good education, but most people go through life using up a very, very small part of their potential. And so anything you do that invests in yourself, uh, is, that's the best investment you can possibly make. And then I would, I would follow my passion. I mean, whatever turns you on, you know, I, uh, uh, I found, I was lucky, I found something early that, that turned me on, but, but uh, you don't want to take a job just for the money, you don't want to take a job for an organization that you really don't feel good about or work for people that you don't feel good about. You, want, you really want to be excited when you get out of bed every morning, and it won't necessarily be the job that you have 10 years later, but you'll be learning so much as you go along, and you know, I, I took a job with Ben Graham, my hero, and, and it you know, I, I never asked the salary, and I found at the end of the month when I got my first paycheck what I was earning because I just knew it was the right thing to be, to be doing. So I would, I would, I would follow, follow your passion. The worst investment I ever made? Mm -hmm. How long do you have? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I've, I've made some very bad ones, but that doesn't really bother me. I, I, you know, it uh, may bother the shareholders, but that's another question. <laughs> the, uh, you know, you're going, to make, you're going to make mistakes in life. I mean, it, there's no question about it. You don't want to make them on the big decisions, you know, who you marry and so, some things like that. So there's no way I'm going to make a lot of business and investment decisions without making some mistakes. I may try to minimize them. I, I, don't, I don't dwell on them at all. I don't, I don't look back. The, the biggest mistakes are the ones that actually don't show up. They're the mistakes of omission rather than commission. We've never lost that much money on any one investment uh, uh, but it's the things that I knew enough to do that I didn't do. We have, we have missed profits of as much as, you know, maybe $10 billion in things that I knew enough to do and I didn't do. Now, the fact that I didn't buy Microsoft way back uh, is not a foregone opportunity because I didn't know enough to make that decision. But there have been other investments where I didn't know enough to make the decision, and for one reason or another, I either didn't do it at all, or I did it on a small scale. I was sucking my thumb when I should have been writing checks, you know, basically. And, <laughs> and, and you know, those don't show up. You know, there's no place where it, it shows missed opportunities, but I've, I've missed some big ones. The triumphs in life are, are partly triumphs because you know that everything isn't going to be a triumph. And, and, and uh, I, I would never get too hung up on mistakes. I know a lot of people that really agonize over them, and, and it, it just isn't worth it. I mean, tomorrow's another day, and you live it forward, and just go on to the next thing.